at depths beyond 800 meters. Where sunlight has never reached, the human eye meets only eternal darkness. It is here in the silent black that our cameras search for something long spoken of in myths, but rarely captured by science. The red beams of our remotely operated vehicle scan the void. Tiny particles drift like snowflakes, suspended in the abyss. For a moment, there is nothing but darkness and silence. Then movement. From the void, a colossal form emerges. A pair of long, muscular arms stretch across the camera frame, lined with suction cups, each rimmed with serrated teeth. A vast, cylindrical body follows, rippling with faint bioluminescence. Then two eyes, each the size of a basketball, flare back the reflection of our lights. The creature hovers as it's suspended in time, its tentacles drifting like banners of another world. For centuries, sailors told the Kraken, a monster that could drag entire ships beneath the waves. What we are witnessing now is no legend. It is real. This is Architus Dux, the giant squid. The giant squid is among the largest invertebrates known to science, with some individuals reaching lengths of 13 meters, nearly the size of a bus. It has remained hidden for millennia, lurking in the bathypelagic zone, the so-called midnight zone of the ocean. Its rarity in the wild is not due to scarcity, but rather the impossible difficulty of reaching its world. The camera inches closer, the squid reacts. In an instant, its mantle contracts, the water is expelled through its siphon, and the creature rockets forward. One sweeping motion, and the monster vanishes back into the abyss. The encounter lasted only seconds. Yet, for marine biology, those seconds are more precious than years of speculation. What we just saw, humanity has feared and worshipped for centuries. In Nordic sagas, the Kraken was described as so vast it could be mistaken for an island. In Mediterranean lore, it was said to be a weapon of Poseidon himself. But until the mid-19th century, the Kraken remained myth. Then, science caught up with legend. In 1857, Danish naturalist Jupiter Steenstrup described Architutus based on beaks and fragments of tentacles washed ashore. For the first time, the Kraken had a scientific name. To understand a giant squid, we must study its biology, piece by piece. Specimens recovered from deep nets and beach strandings suggest average length of 8 to 10 meters, with some females exceeding 13 meters. Unlike many marine giants, females are significantly larger than males, a phenomenon called sexual dimorphism. The squid's body, called the mantle, contains its vital organs, a brain the size of a walnut, three hearts, and a highly efficient circulatory system. But it is the creature's appendages that define its legend, eight arms and two feeding tentacles. Tipped with clubs lined with suction cups reinforced with chitinous rings of teeth. Each suction cup acts as a weapon, gripping prey with immense force. The scars left on sperm whales, their natural predator, are silent testimony to the squid strength. Perhaps the most extraordinary feature of the giant squid is its eye, with a diameter of nearly 30 centimeters. It is the largest eye in the animal kingdom. Such eyes are evolutionary adaptations to darkness. They allow the squid to detect faint bioluminescence, the flash of a predator, the glow of disturbed plankton, or the shadow of a whale approaching. Marine biologist Dan Eric Nielsen explained, In the deep ocean, having an eye this large is like having a telescope in space. You see what others cannot. The giant squid propels itself by jetting water through its siphon, reaching bursts of speed estimated at 25 kilometers per hour. Its muscles are powerful, yet its body remains fragile. Out of the water, a squid collapses under its own weight. It is built for the deep, not the surface. But how does it live? What does it eat? 
analysis of stomach contents reveals a diet of deep sea fish and smaller squid. The long feeding tentacles strike like spears, pulling prey into a razor sharp beak capable of slicing flesh like shears. Yet, the giant squid itself is prey. The scars found on sperm whales tell us of battles fought miles beneath the surface. The whale sonar hunts. The squid resists. Neither side is easily defeated. Almost nothing is known about how giant squid reproduce. Females are believed to produce thousands of eggs, yet no spawning grounds have ever been observed. Male squids possess a specialized arm, the hectocotylus, which delivers spermatophores directly into the female's body. But no human has ever witnessed their mating in the wild. Even today, the full life cycle of Architutus remains one of marine biology's deepest enigmas. Over centuries, most evidence came from carcasses washed ashore, often mangled, incomplete, and decaying. It was not until the 21st century that humanity filmed a living giant squid in its natural habitat. 2004 Japan, a team led by Tsunami Kabata photographed a giant squid alive for the first time. 2012 Ogasawara Islands, the first high definition video footage was captured showing a living squid in the wild. 2019 Gulf of Mexico, NOAA's deep sea cameras recorded another specimen, marking the first time a giant squid was filmed in U.S. waters. Three sightings, three moments in history, against thousands of hours of searching. The giant squid is more than an animal. It is an icon suspended between science and folklore. For sailors, it embodied fear of the unknown. For scientists, it represents a frontier of discovery. For culture, it has become a monster of imagination, appearing in Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, in Pirates of the Caribbean, and in countless films, games, and stories. But behind the myth, the enigma persists. One of nature's greatest battles takes place unseen, miles beneath the ocean surface. The fight between sperm whales and giant squid. The whale, equipped with echolocation, dives beyond 1,000 meters, holding its breath for over an hour. The squid, lurking in the dark, detects its predator with its massive eyes. The clash leaves scars, circular wounds from suction cups etched into whale flesh. These marks are the only silent records of a battle humans may never witness directly. Only in recent years has technology given us the chance to meet this leviathan alive. ROVs, equipped with cameras using red light invisible to squid eyes, now search the abyss. Bioluminescent lures mimic jellyfish to attract curious predators. But every sighting raises new questions. How many giant squid truly exist? Do they inhabit all oceans or only certain trenches? And most tantalizing of all, is there a species even larger yet undiscovered? Despite centuries of searching, humans know almost nothing about the deep sea. Over 80% remains unexplored. The giant squid is only the beginning. Beneath the surface may lie creatures stranger than imagination, living in realms beyond our reach. The squid reminds us of the limits of our knowledge, that even in the 21st century, when satellites orbit Mars and rovers crawl the moon, Earth's own oceans hold mysteries more alien than outer space. In the deep, where light dies and pressure crushes, Life takes forms beyond imagination. The giant squid, Architutus ducks, is both a relic of legend and a wonder science. We have glimpsed it only briefly, in rare encounters snatched from the abyss. It is not a monster, but a survivor, perfectly adapted to its hidden world. And yet, every glimpse leaves us with more questions and answers. The enigma remains until we return to the depths